what's up everybody this is the part two of the video we finna mix these instruments are y'all ready to mix these instruments there's other ways there's a lot of ways that you can mix instruments and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use everything that came with the focus right solo which is the soft tube tune bundle a reverb a delay saturation and a drowner so i'm gonna show you what all those are focus right comes with an eq and a compressor as well so i'm gonna show you what that is and with those plugins that is all you need to mix instruments and vocals and i'm going to show y'all how to do that in these series of videos that we're going to do together previous video i showed y'all how to make a beat from the loop everything from scratch i showed y'all how to make the loop i showed y'all in previous videos how to make drum racks so you can drag those previous drum racks to any loop that you want to do see what fits see what do doesn't fit and chop it up and reverse it and all that other stuff in the next video i'm going to show y'all the writing process and the recording process of making the song so y'all follow this journey with me and all the other subscribers i hope you are ready because we finna have a lot of fun all right so the first thing that i want to do is i want to mix the loop that i made and i'm still deciding if i want to mix it as a group the chain will be the same on both of the tracks or i can make a separate chains that's are, that are similar on each of the loops so i'm just going to see which one i like better but i'm also going to be telling you what i am doing so in the previous video i showed y'all that i just put a reverb on it just so it can sound more a little bit more full so now we're going to actually mix it i'm going to decide on whether i want to mix with the eq first or the compressor first just depending on how the instrument itself sounds with the actual song <laughs> So the Drowner, what that does is it has a whole bunch of other effects that you could put on it. For instance, it has the clean, and the clean is just compression, basically. And then it has the bass control, and that controls a lot of the uh, the mumble and stuff like that. It clears it up. You have the punch, and what, that, what that's going to do is going to give the bass more punch. And on the spatial, you have basic effects that makes it wide ambient makes it a little bit more wide as well so all of these makes it more a, a little bit more wide and spread out the vocals or spread out the instrument that you have and then the vocal enhance it kind of gives it a little bit more clarity in the sense of how full it is <laughs> So I like that right there, it sounds really clean. And I just put the Clarity 2 on there and then I raised it up to about a little under 60 for the amount. And I kept the output, the wet knob and everything else, the gain the same. And remember that on these two tracks, it has reverb on it um, by itself. So that's why I didn't add a reverb on the group track. So the first thing that I want to EQ is the low end. And so we're gonna raise that up. That is a compressor. That is what the EQ looks like. So I like how that sounds. So what I did right there, I just sweep the uh, frequency that I wanted to subtract because I felt like it was kind of weird sounding. So what I eventually did was I put the high pass filter all the way up, just probably lower, probably like a three hertz or something like that. And the low shelf, I kept that the same. On the low mid, I kept that the same, sounded all right. <laughs> So I pushed up the gain and a 
I lowered the low pass, EQ compressor, that's what I like to do, and a reverb. But there's other things that you can do, like play around with other plugins to see what they can offer. So like we're gonna put this swirl effect on this instrument and we're gonna see what that sounds like. different um i don't know if i like that or not yeah like that yeah that's pretty cool so what i did was i went over here to the rate and i adjusted the rate to one hertz it closes or opens up the that effect basically it makes it slower or faster so on this instrument i'm just going to gently compress it right here it this button right here just um adds air so uh, i'm just going to keep that button on i adjusted the high pass i pushed it slightly under 105 i adjusted the high mids and then the low pass, I put it to 14K. You know how to mix it with the drowner and the EQ. And you notice that I didn't use any other compression, extra effects, because I, didn't, I feel like I didn't need it. And if you feel like I needed some, tell me in the comments. And if you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. And subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to push that bell so y'all can be notified when I drop the next video on writing and recording on this beat that we made.